Bir günkü konumuz sağlıklı ve uzun bir yaşam. Yanımızda Bill Andrews var ve şimdi ondan birkaç bilgiler alacağız. Hi Bill, welcome in Istanbul first of all. How do you like it here so far? So far I love Turkey. I, I, I don't ever want to leave. Everything has been fantastic. Bize biraz kendinizden bahseder misiniz? I'm, I'm a scientist. I've been, um, I've been obsessed with trying to figure out a way to reverse aging ever since I was like 10 years old. It was actually my father's idea. When, when my father learned that I was really interested in science and medicine, he came to me and, when I was 10 years old and said, you know, Bill, when you grow up, you should become a doctor and find a cure for aging. Uh, he said he didn't understand why nobody's done that yet, but that's been my obsession ever since, to find a cure for aging, to reverse aging. Aging is a horrible thing. I just want to see it stop. 150,000 people are dying every day, and I just want to find some way to stop this horrible thing that everybody thinks is normal, but it's not. We should not be doing this. We should be living healthy lives for much longer than we are. Okay, and how are you planning on doing that? <clears throat> well, ever since I was young, I've been learning all the theories about aging, and none of them ever made sense to me, because most of the theories on aging say that we age because of our environment. But I just realized why, if the environment's the main cause of aging, and you know, people like to compare us to like old cars sitting in a field being exposed to the weather. If that's the cause of our aging, why is it that people who live on the North and South Poles age at the same rate as people who live on the equator when the environments are very different? If, if environment's the cause of aging, why is it that cats and dogs age at a very different rate than we do when they're there in the same environment? So I, I decided a long time ago, there has to be some kind of clock that's ticking inside of us. And I'm also really strong in statistics. I really understand statistics. And just the idea of some random event causing aging can't explain why our distribution of age when we die is so narrow. Okay, so again, it all argued there had to be a clock. So I remember even in high school saying, there's got to be a clock. What is that clock? What is that clock? Then in the early 1990s, I heard of some people that had this theory that telomere shortening might be the clock. People had discovered that telomeres get shorter. This is before I ever heard about any of this. Other, other scientists had discovered that telomeres get shorter, but they didn't know what was going on, why, or was it important or anything like that. But some scientists uh, decided that, hey, maybe this is the clock of aging. Some people that also believe there had to be a clock. If you, if you believe something's a clock, the way to prove it's a clock is reverse it and see what happens. So <clears throat> nobody knew how to reverse it, but I led some research uh, in the early, mid-1990s that discovered an enzyme called telomerase. And when we use telomerase, and t what telomerase does is it lengthens telomeres. And, and, and so this theory was that telomeres were the aging clock, and if we could lengthen them, and if it really was the aging clock, we should see aging reversed. So we did that, actually, in the mid-1990s, a long time ago, we actually put telomerase into normal skin cells and showed that they stopped aging, and even to our surprise, the aging got reversed in every way ma imaginable of measuring aging. And nothing had ever done that before. And since, nothing's ever done that. Uh, so, so I and my team of scientists ended up proving that telomere shortening is a cause of aging. Now we believe it's actually the major cause of aging. And that simply reversing it, finding a way to reverse it in us, should make us young in, again, every way imaginable. Uh, it's just a lot of work. I've been, I've been working on this for 25 years now, uh, uh, trying to find a way to actually lengthen the telomeres enough so that we can actually ask, do people get younger? That's, that's my whole life right now. Kronolojik yaşımız ve biyolojik yaşımız arasındaki farklar nedir ve bunu nasıl ölçeriz? Um, yeah, I mean, it, it, there's people, different people have different definitions of what aging is, but I think the strongest biomarker of aging by far is the length of your telomeres. Um, and so there are tests out now where you can actually measure your telomere lengths. I have to say most of the companies out there that are selling such things aren't very accurate and a lot of people are throwing their money away doing them, but uh, there are companies out there, one in, notably, that has a really accurate telomere length measurement protocol. 
And I think if anybody wants to measure their biological age relative to their chronological age, they need to find a company that measures the percent of telomeres that are short, not just the median or average telomere length. Okay, and you get that, and you can get a very, very accurate measurement of your biological age. And I think everybody should do that, because I think the percent of telomeres that are short is probably the best measurement of your overall health and, and age there, uh, that there is. And it sounds really interesting. Uh, do you know what your biological age is? Um, yeah, I mean... <laughs> I, I, Would you like to mention it? it it's, well, <laughs> the last time I got checked, I'm about four and a half years younger than I really am. So my biological age is about 61. Uh, my real chronological age is 65. Um, and uh, it's, I mean, I've had my telomeres measured a lot in the last, like, 20 years, but the techniques have only gotten really good just recently. So, so I believe so there have been times when I, I've never, the good news is that I probably had my telomeres measured 20 times at least, and I've never been told that my telomeres are shorter than they should be. They're always longer than they should be, which is good. And, uh, but I've had people tell me that I was 20 years younger than I am. And I thought, no, I'm not, I don't look and feel 20 years younger than I am. But, 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 but I do believe the latest data that's been very reproducible, showing that I rep I'm, I'm always like about four or five years younger. And by the way, I do have an identical twin brother who, who is not as healthy and doesn't lead a lifestyle like I do, and his consistently comes out as being five years older. So it's, we got some good reproducibility with the, uh, the telomere length measurement protocols that work. Telomere nedir? Telomeres are the very tips of chromosomes. Um, I actually have this little picture here. This is, this is what a chromosome looks like. It's just that inside your cells, it's like thousands of folds smaller than this. But a chromosome is made up of DNA that extends from one end all the way to the other. And there's another DNA on the other side. So there's two arms, the left arm and the right arm. And the DNA is where all of our genes are that give us our hair color, our eye color, and affect a lot of our personalities and stuff like that. The genes are all located along this DNA molecule. The telomeres are the very tips. And they, think of them like caps on your shoelaces. Okay, that's what a telomere is. And just like caps on our shoelaces get shorter, with age, our telomeres get shorter with age. And when they get shorter, they have a profound effect on, on the genes throughout the chromosome, changing their what are called expression patterns. So <clears throat> the expression pattern is every gene has like an on-off switch. And they're mostly like dimmer switches. They can turn on a little bit, turn on a lot or whatever. So the telomeres actually affect how much pr product gets produced from every gene along the chromosome. And it turns out when the telomeres get really short, I always say bad things happen when telomeres get short because you, your genes all turn into the kind of things that make you unhealthy and cause you to die of old age. Lengthening them restores all that uh, in all the chromosomes. But that's what telomeres are, they're the very tips. And we just, the biggest message I want to say is that we've got to keep them long. Everybody should focus on everything they can do to keep them as long as possible and actually lengthen them. I'm actually hoping this really soon. I, I've been, of course, I've been obsessed with this whole subject for 55 years now, since I was 10 years old. I actually only started doing research in aging uh, uh, about 30 years ago. But in those 30 years, we've never actually been in a point of actually testing something. And we actually are now this close to actually testing. Uh, I've, I've developed a gene therapy technology for uh, lengthening telomeres. And I licensed it to another company and they just got regulatory approval to begin phase one clinical trials on it next month. Okay, so, so this is gonna be really exciting. After all my years of being on this, I'm finally gonna see is all my work been worthwhile? I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really excited about it. Peki bu telomeri daha sağlık bir hale getirmek için ne yapabiliriz? Telomeres shorten even if you lead the healthiest lifestyle and have the perfect genetics. Because telomeres shortening is usually connected to just cell division and we have to have cell division all the time. But there's things that a lot of people do that actually accelerate that telomere shortening and it's mostly 
poor lifestyle choices. Uh, things that are most noted for making telomeres shorten at a faster rate, so people age faster, is like smoking, obesity, um, lack of exercise, stress, psychological stress, and oxidative stress. The key things are inflammation and oxidative stress, so reducing those. So, so you can take your antioxidants, you can take your vitamin D, you can take your omega-3 fatty acids, uh, there's, you can meditate, you can do yoga, all of these things actually decrease the rate of your telomere shortening. Now, that's all they do though. They just decrease the rate of the telomere shortening. To actually lengthen telomeres, you have to do, find other ways to induce the production of telomerase in your cells so that the telomeres get longer. And there are actually uh, natural products on the market now and some synthetic products that actually do that. Um, and I got a caution, anybody watching this, <laughs> There's a lot of bad products, a lot of charlatans out there promoting products that absolutely don't work. Uh, my company tests them all the time, and there's probably only th two or three, pr three, three products on the market that we have confirmed that actually does induce telomerase and lengthen telomeres. Um, so just be, be wary. Check, check things out. Make certain there's peer-reviewed scientific studies backing up the claims that people say. And, and another thing is, while we're on the subject, there's, there's a lot of products out there that are claiming that they have telomerase in a bottle. And you can wipe it on your skin, but telomerase is too big to get inside your cells. You can only make it inside your cells. You can't take telomerase and it's gonna get inside your cells. You can't eat an animal that has, for instance, a lot of telomerase and expect that that's gonna rejuvenate you. Okay, thank you, thank you. for all the information you've shared with us thank today. You.